just don't get enough credit sometimes. Oh, they make they it. They make the games for sure. Absolutely. Lots of fun. Set that tone. Yes. We'll check in now with First Alert Meteorologist Courtney Jacobazzi setting the tone for the day ahead oh. and the week ahead, helping us get prepared. Man, we've had a nice little break from the 90s. It's I just beautiful. looked. We've had six days of 80s. So okay. almost a week break from the 90s. Unfortunately, we're not going to get a full week of a break. We are going to bring back the 90s okay. starting today. And then it's only up from there. And we've had a lot of 90 degree days so far this year. 56 is the number of 90 plus degree days, 95 or higher 17. And our yearly normal is about 38. And we get our averages every 20 years. I wouldn't be surprised if that number does raise as we head into our next 20 years, which isn't going to be for a little while. We just kind of finished our climatological period very recently. A beautiful view over Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier has just been showing off the past couple of days. Gorgeous start as the sun starts to come up above the tree line there. And it'd be a nice day to be out on the lake. A little chilly if you're headed out there now, but Personally, I love a good jacket boat ride. That's always really, really wonderful. 58 in the city of Dahlonega, 58 in Dawsonville, 60 in coming 62 in Jasper, a 54 in Blairsville. Very comfortable the further north you go. Closer to the city, we're at 69 degrees in Atlanta, 60 in Covington, 59 in Rome, 55 in LJ. A lot of us in the 50s, even LaGrange at 57. A nice and crisp and cool start to what will be another beautiful day. A little warmer, but our humidity will still stay low. We'll see a lot of sunshine. If you're headed to any of the farmers markets today, Across the area will be in the upper 60s by 8 o'clock. We'll continue to stay in the upper 60s, I should say. And then at 11, we'll be in the mid to upper 70s. And around 2, that's when we'll bump into the low 80s for the day today. High temperatures, by the time it's all said and done, around 4 or 5 o'clock, we'll top out in the upper 80s to low 90s. A really nice day. Realistically, we're going to have the lower humidity. We'll have a nice breeze that'll build in through the day. So you're not going to notice much of a difference today as you did yesterday. It's only a couple degrees difference when it comes to that high temperature. But wind gusts, as we make our way through, the morning and into the early afternoon between about 15 to 20 miles per hour. So if you're headed to the park, maybe you're going to grab lunch outside. Braves play this afternoon as well. Be a great day to get outside and enjoy it out the door tomorrow. We will wake up in the 60s again. Tomorrow will probably be our last slightly crisp, slightly cool morning with temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, but we'll warm very quickly by 11 o'clock. We'll be in the low 80s and tomorrow we will top out in the low 90s. As I mentioned, our mornings only going to get warmer, so really just soak in the morning today and tomorrow because then our overnight lows will stay in the mid to upper 70s, waking up closer to 80 degrees Wednesday and Thursday. Needless to say, we get very hot this week. We have several first alert weather days Wednesday, Thursday and Friday as record heat will be possible. The record each of those days, 98 degrees. I do have us forecast at 98 for Thursday and the humidity will return so it's going to feel even hotter. We are going to introduce small rain chances. I know a lot of you are probably like, where's the rain? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, a front will start to approach. I know this looks like it's going to be a washout, but these models this far out will make it look like that. Rain chances look slim right now for Thursday and Friday, slightly higher Saturday, which will drop us back into the mid 90s. How nice will that feel? <laughs> That'll at least get us out of record heat territory for the start of next weekend. So low 90s today, a nice morning tomorrow in the low to mid 60s, low 90s again tomorrow, and then it's only up from there. Mid 90s Tuesday and then first alert weather days for near record heat, and we will introduce at least small rain chances Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Megan.